What's up everyone? What's going on? Welcome back to another video, another topic video for today. Uh, I will be having some reviews coming out pretty soon, so stay in tune for those videos. They'll be out pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this one's going to be pretty interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty divisive, especially with just the, the angle that I'm taking with it, but uh, hey, we keep 100 on this channel, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna talk it, talk it out. So, um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, uh, Harvey Weinstein, uh, who, you know, I don't think anyone's gonna disagree on this point that you know, motherfucker is a monster. You know, he, what he did, what he, what he's done was despicable, and you know, it, it's just gross seeing how narcissistic some people can be and how he will never own up to it he'll always like deflect from it and you know it's really beautiful to see the end results or at least I think to some degree the end results where he has now been issued <clears throat> 16 years in prison uh, for all the stuff that he has done and for all the uh, stuff that was laid out um, and proven in court, so um, <clears throat> um, that's, not, that's not necessarily what we're going to talk about because we're all, I think we're all unanimous on that point about Harvey Weinstein. I think it's more about the, the bigger thing that comes out of the of this because this is a pretty significant event with you know Harvey now being placed in prison and you know he will be facing time in prison something that I think a lot of people have been waiting you know to to hear for many years um <clears throat> I think that um something that I've just found just really gross about the whole thing is Hollywood's uh response to it which is pretty much nothing um or you know real the uh really blind and naive, um, um, because, uh, Harvey did what Harvey did, but Hollywood could have done so much to not only prevent the, some of the stuff that Harvey was doing, but also, um, <clears throat> they all knew, like, they all knew what was up, you know, so it wasn't like, because they all, they all, like, cover their own ass and say that oh we had no idea we had no idea and it's like bull fucking shit a lot of you guys know um and uh you know to see how everyone is just like just you know just standing like this and not saying a damn thing meanwhile all these people are being were that were victims to harvey you know it's just it's really gross seeing how hollywood just stood by and didn't do a damn thing and and as a result of that, you know, with Harvey, you know, like, finally being unveiled, you know, as the monster as he was, then the whole Me Too movement started. And if you saw my review for She Said, you guys would know that I take, I take issue with that as well. Um, I feel like Hollywood could have been better on that as well. Um, because... The Me Too movement has always been a female-driven movement. Rarely do you hear about male victims. And I'm pretty sure if we, if I looked into Harvey Weinstein's wrongdoings and the, just the disgusting shit that he's done, I'm pretty sure that there are male victims as well, but nobody wants to talk about that shit because it's not uh, noteworthy, which is just gross to me. Um, male abuse is a very real thing there's a lot of victims out here you know people who get destroyed by you know like females other men you know like it's real you know and people just chalk it up to certain things and they don't want to like you know really uh, they don't want to bring it up within this conversation you know the whole point of the me too movement was to address and you know tell stories of of abuse and you know for people to come forward with certain things and be comfortable with it and it had good intentions at the start but now it's like there's 
there's a lack of 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 uh, authenticity like there's a lack of like of real accountability it seems a lot of times when it comes to these stories that come out and it's always skewed to a certain gender like nobody really brings up the other side of the thing and um and this is all this was a lot to do with hollywood as well hollywood was on board with the whole me too movement and they had a perfect opportunity to really make it make it more equally driven you know men and females you know let them both express their stories versus catering to one specific gender that one specific gender obviously had more involvement with harvey weinstein but it doesn't mean that men were not involved either they had their say they or they or sorry they had their uh they had their uh they had their shit to deal with too, you know. My bad for misspeaking. Um, like, you know, to me, that's the part that I just find very, just odd about this whole thing is that is it's not necessarily a um, just the men part. It's just the way that it was all handled, the way that Harvey was just like the way that the, that the fact that they just basically just went like this. They just you know just kind of minded their own business you know it was really really just gross and the fact that that no one will ever admit that they knew you know like the system knew they knew for years about harvey they knew for years about harvey and i'm pretty sure if i look into it i'm pretty sure i could find celebrities and stars who knew harvey and knew that shit too you know so like you know so especially with how many victims have come forward, especially with how many stories we have heard of Harvey. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something that you keep secret, you know? This is something that a couple of people are going to hear whispers of or just know flat out, you know? So, I just... I just, I, I always found issue with that. Every, like, every time I hear about the Harvey Weinstein thing with him in court, I was just, I always think back to that, like, how they handled that, and how they just, they decided to, to, to support the Me Too movement, and, it, and in doing so, it really benefited a specific gender, a specific body of people, and it eliminated the voices of a lot of other people, people who go through as much shit as the females have done you know there's men who have been raped there's been men who have been physically and emotionally abused there's been men that have been um that have been traumatized because of certain events like it's it, it to me it's just so stupid that this movement like chooses to eliminate that voice or chooses to Le to make that voice less in, uh, significant because of the fact that they have a penis and that men are somehow labeled a certain way uh, because of other people's actions. Like, really think about that. You're going to generalize a, a, a population, a, 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 a group of people, because of a few people's actions. That's, that's just dumb. Like, you don't, like, just because a few dudes do that, doesn't mean that every dude does that that's just so that to me that's just dumb that's being blind that's being very very naive um and also the same thing for women and women not all women are assholes not all women are this or that you know what i'm saying but to the other side of that there are loads of women who are tons of assholes and bitches and sluts and all this sort of stuff um, and men it can be the exact same thing so you can't necessarily say that that oh one one per, one or a few people did this and then you know obviously every person in, in that group basically anybody who has a penis obviously they they all do that no that's not true that's just absolutely not true and i feel like i know i'm putting this a lot on hollywood but i feel like hollywood could have like maybe given some kind of like um like kind of like kind of give a little more of a benefit to to both parties you know like instead of just 
Because look at what the Me Too movement is now. Like, when stories come out, there's always this this huge level of doubt, you know? Like, if anything, what Hollywood did in response to Harvey Weinstein in helping support the Me Too movement and all that sort of stuff, it actually made for stories um, it now to be less credible. Like, imagine the real victims. Like, the real victims of, like, abuse, rape, and all that sort of stuff. These people cannot express themselves because they're gonna they're concerned about being being but thrown in a in a in a pool with these like people who fake these stories and all sort of shit. Like they're they don't feel like that they're gonna be heard, you know. Like everyone's just gonna be like, because that's just how it is, you know. That's just how it is now. Like people are just going to presume or you know like like have the shade of doubt, which I think hey just me personally that's just how I roll I am always having the shade of doubt when I meet or hear anything you know and unless I see it with my own eyes I that's just you know what I mean or if there's no proof to back it up it's just hard for me to take you to take it seriously I have to like know some things before I give my input I'm not just gonna say that you know obviously it depends on the person but you know what I'm trying to say it's like like it's I, I wish it wasn't really like that, but I, I also understand where that mindset comes from, you know? Like, you want to be a little bit more rational when you're addressing and dealing with these kinds of things, and then just in anything in general. But, um, but, but I'm just thinking about the people who actually have been through real shit, and, you know, they, their voices cannot be heard you know, like, because we've seen that people can abuse this movement, Amber Heard, I mean, she, I mean, come on, and, like, other women and other men have abused this, and for, for the, for just evil stuff, like, for financial gain, or, uh, leverage, and stuff like that, like, that's what we've seen happen a lot of times in the current years with this movement, and I feel like Hollywood had many chances to just, you know, like, for one thing, clean house, and two, um, to like, to just make this feel, to make this feel more inclusive, and like, because it just feels like it's being driven by a certain kind of agenda. Obviously, it's it's we're getting we get into politics and all that sort of stuff, but because um, I mean Hollywood, I know is all democratic and stuff like that, and I and that is a, a huge factor of, of how their mind works, you know that they're all about certain things with towards women and lgbtq rights and all that sort of stuff but when it comes to male rights it's like they just somehow just leave that you know just just mm, 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 you know like that's kind of like their response to that they don't really want to address that sort of thing even if it is a question a, a, a legitimate question you know <laughs> but <clears throat> But at the core of it all, like, I'm, I, Hollywood knew about Harvey Weinstein. They knew about what the hell he was doing. They knew about what the fuck he was doing to all these women and to these men, okay? Don't be ignorant. There was men that were, that were, that got fucked over by Harvey as well, okay? Um, both sides, like, there, you could find it. Like, they even said in the fucking film, she said that there was a, a guy that had issues with Harvey Weinstein, and they never addressed that point. They just chose to favor the female point of view because, I mean, yeah, her story seems is more interesting than what the male's is, but again, if you want to be, if you want, if you want, like, because like, they're all about everyone's voices being heard, but yet it only skews to a certain kind of people, not people who have dicks, so it's just people who got, uh, certain kinds of bodies, you know what I'm saying, so, like, it's all gender-based, you know, and it's just, it's getting stupid, you know, but, but Hart, but Harvey was Hollywood's fault, they knew about him, they knew about him for years, and they, they had a hell of a lot of time to kick him out, to deal with him, and to move on from it, but instead they let things just 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 keep piling up and keep piling up and letting things happen and eventually he got caught 
and what did Hollywood do? They just, they literally just did this. They just chose to stand by and they chose to support other things, but they never really admitted fault, you know? And they, they have a lot to blame. Um, so, I know this is kind of like a random, like I'm just kind of saying shit all over the place, because it's a hard thing to talk about, but, um, but my points being are this. Harvey Weinstein, he, we all know what he did, but Hollywood, y'all could have done some, y'all could have like really, like, really could have like done some shit, you know, um, so you have your own fault, um, in that. Um, and I feel that their involvement in the Me Too movement, like how they have, what they have provided to the Me Too movement, I feel is a lot of ignorance, a lot of biases, a lot of favoritisms. Like, if you're going to do this kind of movement, include everybody, include females and men. Like, let everybody talk about their stories. But it seems like nowadays that it's just the females that get the say. And the men, they don't really get to talk about their stories. And it doesn't take a scientist or any, like, whatever to recognize that Harvey didn't just fuck over women. He fucked over a ton of people. And some of those people had penises. So, um, you know, so, you know, to, to see what the results of that whole thing became, you know, with the, with the current Me Too movement and with how we, um, how we see people's how we like recognize people's stories you know what i'm saying like how we respond to people's stories like with this level of doubt and um and how like i said it's like it's just like a woman's game at this point like men just kind of just like you know what i mean our their voices are just like super minuscule or they they chalk it up to certain things you know like like i don't care what body part you have like rape is rape abuse is abuse you know what I'm saying? Like, what does it matter if they have a penis or not? What does it matter if she's if she's got boobs or not? Like, what does it matter to you? You know? Like, it just... It just... To me, it's just... It's just getting, like, super ridiculous. You know? Because I see that more often with this whole gender war. Like, it's just getting fucking ridiculous. It's... You know? And, that, and to be clear, Hollywood ain't involved in the whole gender war thing. I mean, that was, it's like a social thing at this point, but they had their hands in some of the stuff. And again, they're dull democratic. So obviously they're going to, they're going to put their own type of views on, on that sort of thing. And that to me is the problem. That to me is the problem because they're all about certain things and yet they don't, they don't want to address the other side of that. The men, the, 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 the handling of this whole thing the the fact that they knew this shit for years for years and they didn't do anything about it like that you have to be stupid if you think that they didn't know they knew for a long time they knew for a long time about harvey weinstein and they chose to do nothing they chose to do nothing and they would say oh we were we were we were scared of harvey or all that sort of stuff to an extent, I can understand that, but with, like, like this, this shit was not just figured out, a, like, a, a few months before the articles came out. They knew for years. They had loads of time, loads of time to find a way to deal with Harvey, and they never did that. And after the whole Harvey situation happened, Hollywood didn't say a damn thing. They didn't say that, hey, you know what? It Partially, it's our fault. We should have done something about Harvey. We should have done this and that. They didn't do anything like that. They just stood aside, let everything happen, and then when it was convenient for them politically, they would go over to this little Me Too movement that was happening on Twitter and say, hey, this and that, you know? Let's, let's have your voices be heard. Your voices be heard. A man comes in. Like, it's just like... You know what I mean? Like, it just... It just has become a very ignorant, like ignorance and bias are like, you know what I mean? Like it's just running rampant now. And I'm just, 
I, I wish that people, I'm guilty of this too. I wish that people can be more open-minded, especially with a subject like this. Like, it's not easy to talk about at all. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna have issues with my with my my beliefs. Um, and hey, it's it's just a belief, all right. I'm just just whatever, you know. I'm not any do incredible person, whatever like that. Just your average boy, just giving you his. Uh, I'm a man. What are you? What am I talking about? Uh, a, a man given his views on certain things that's just it so don't 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 get don't get pissed off at me but if you do hey that's on you um but but it's really gross you know seeing how everything was handled and just ultimately the results like it, like the results of that article coming out the birth of the me too movement and just seeing ultimately what had what it has become today hollywood has fault within all this timeline. Not saying that it's purely their fault, but it's def they definitely had their fault, their their part to play, both politically and uh uh literally. Like just they 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 had many years to figure out Harvey and they chose to do nothing. And I can partially understand with the whole power thing. I get it Harvey had, had a lot of power. I understand that, but that is almost an excuse because of how much time Harvey was in the system. So, so, yeah. So I just I wanted to talk about this just because Harvey's now finally getting his sentence, and you know, like, uh, like just to clarify, just because I know some of y'all are just gonna be ignorant and just hear certain things. Let me just make it clear: fuck Harvey, okay? The dude's a piece of shit. He's a fucking crook. He's a monster. All that type of shit. Use any word, explicit, whatever. That dude matches that, okay? Like, yeah. 16 years, that's pretty generous. So, um, but, yeah. Like, like, I'm not saying Harvey is good or whatever. Just in case y'all are ignorant and you guys choose to hear certain things. What I'm just saying is that I think that Hollywood could have handled that situation a whole lot better um, I think politically they probably shouldn't have been so naive and fed certain things to the Me Too movement because ultimately the results are just kind of kind of uh, tragic um, nowadays. And they knew, they knew, and they will never admit to that to that point. And that's the point that gets me the most is that they knew for so long about Harvey, and they never. And when shit finally came out. They just chose to do nothing. That to me just rubs me the wrong way so much. So they will never admit that they that they fucked up on that end. So, but glad that Harvey is getting going to prison. I think that a lot of people are happy with that. But you guys, let me know what are you guys? Uh, shit, sorry. Let me start that over. Um, you guys, let me know your thoughts on Harvey. You guys, let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. Let me know your thoughts on my perspective in regards to Hollywood's. Uh, handling of the Harvey Weinstein situation. You guys wanna know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's just keep it neutral here. Like, you know, we're just we're just here to talk talk opinions guys. So that's 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 all it is. Okay, we ain't here to talk about um, anything else. It's just just opinions here guys. So just just you know be reasonable, be understanding. So um but yeah that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys you enjoy the Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a long video, damn. So I'm gonna head it inside now. But um, I hope my, my opinion came across. You know, I, I really don't want to be like viewed the viewed the wrong way. I'm just I'm really trying to express it the best way possible. Um, so hopefully my point was made, and hopefully you guys uh, understand where I'm coming from. Because you know I'm not supporting that motherfucker one bit. So I'm just saying that Hollywood. You could have done better. So, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, we'll have more reviews uh, out pretty soon. Hopefully, uh, I'm not sure when, but hopefully in the next video, we'll see. Uh, yeah. So, but thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah. So, this was this was a yeah. Just just this, the subject of all the stuff is just it's just really icky to me. I just don't like talking about this sort of stuff, but. I mean, but I have my thoughts and I just wanted to express it on camera. So, so I've done that. So, 
So thank you guys for watching. That's probably the fifth time I've said that now. I'm going to head out now before I say it the sixth time. So I almost just said it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night, guys.